what's going on guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another planet coaster video here at sky boogie gaming as you can see right now guys um i decided to pull out every single gingerbread um blueprint that planet coaster had on the game plus uh all the empty shells and sceneries that they had that was christmas related or gingerbread related or whatever the case may be um just to see what type of stuff that they had on here because like when i was putting together the my winter winter christmas world in the frozen tundra i was noticing a lot of different items from the gingerbread stuff that i had never paid attention to uh from the festive the festive stuff on the the end games and so it gave me an idea to come and see what all that they had in the festive stuff you know and i used some of this stuff in in my winter park but they wasn't like they they wasn't like this i ended up changing some of them and adding things to them um but yeah hence the point of this video right here that i'm making right now um because i just had a feeling that if somebody out there that just started playing planet coaster and they just happened to stumble across my video right here i'm just saying right now they just stumbled across it and they looking at it i'm talking to you you know what i'm saying if this if, if you the person that's watching this video and and you would like to be creative on here but you had no idea but you didn't want to always use the end game blueprints over and over again you know for every different park or every different thing you wanted to do well i'm here to show you how you could change that you know what i'm saying so for me uh you guys probably looking at this and just see a whole bunch of end game blueprints and facades and empty shop shells oh excuse me and uh scenery right here but to me i see a whole lot of untapped potential right here that could be something completely different and um yeah and that's what we're gonna do in this video so if you're new to my channel guys don't forget to hit that like button and think about subscribing as well you know and we're gonna get into this video and i'm gonna show you um exactly what i mean by how i modify blueprints or how i use the in-game blueprints to create something that i want to create you know so without further ado guys let me jump right on into my gingerbread builds let's get it all right guys let's get started here let's get started so we're gonna we're gonna start let, let me see we're gonna grab this house here we're gonna, we're gonna duplicate it we're gonna duplicate it and we're gonna place this thing here in our space that we're gonna build because whatever i build on this video guys i'm gonna put this on my workshop so if you don't feel like building it or putting it together or doing it yourself you can go and grab the one i did and put it in your park um but well here it is it's gonna be the base of our scenery build that we're gonna use to upgrade this scenery and make it into something else um so i picked this house for the simple fact i like this archway that it got right here because what i'm a, what i'm about to do um let me see uh what can we use something like this all right we're gonna duplicate this house right here but i'm gonna use it because of this piece of candy that's on the side of it right here because that piece of candy on the side is gonna play a big role in the look of what we're doing here because by that building having that archway on it if you take this building with that um the rooftop on it like that and you turn it and line it up with that with this blueprint here if you line it up right it should look like a door right there so you take your time and just slide it in gently and bam when you put it in there that piece of candy now looks like a door so now you got the little access door here you can put some stuff here decorate that little access if you want to this is actually going to be the back door you can put things back here if you like um you got the gingerbread tree on the side and then this is going to be the front of your house there's nothing here but you know the back of the wall and then you got a gap space right here so if you want to even go even more in depth with the the scenery and make it even more lavish or bigger you can find you something else that you could use to add to it and 
I think this would be a good fit here. So we're going to go with this here because it's a smaller house. So now we got a, a small, medium, and large um, a blueprint shell, uh, well, empty shell or scenery that we could put together and make a whole different scenery. So now you take this piece, uh oh, come on now, take this piece and you line this up into that gap right there. And by lining it up in that gap, you know, it may cover up some things, but uh oh, man, but you get the picture, you know, you put that there. Hold up, I want it to go back first, right? Yeah, I want it to go all the way back so it's like seamless. So there it is. So now you put that together like that, like so, and bam, right there. Now you got a whole different house. You know, with the front door and the little trees and things like that. And look, you could even go as far as um. Hold on, let's go to sceneries. No, it'll be in scenes, right? Yep, right there. We got our gingerbread family. And we pop your little gingerbread family in front of it, you know, the little scenery. Uh oh. And bam, just like that, you know, you got your little gingerbread house with your little family outside. There's some scenery that you could put in your park and use, and voila, you know. So I already, uh, I done scanned this blueprint here and put this on my workshop as a scenery, uh, park scenery, if anybody will want to go on and use it, or you can go and put it together yourself, you know, and far as like modifying things like these, man, like I wouldn't even say you don't even have to modify these, but like you can build you something else with it though. So I'm going to take one of these. And we're going to uh, duplicate this, you know, but we're going to, you know, we're going to turn this into a Jones Water Company stand up, you know. So, like, for me, like I say, when I build stuff or I put shops in a certain areas, I try to have staff buildings and things by them. So, the workers or the vendors in those uh, shops don't have to walk far to a break room because that uh, affects your employee happiness. But I want to, I usually would put like two buildings like these together, something like that, and, you know, have one pathway, like, make this a whole pathway. But, um, no, we're not going to do that this time. We're going to take one of these, and we're just going to um, try something different. So we're going to just take this whole facility, because I think this is a, is this a, okay, yeah, this one is a, a, a staff building. So you can take this staff building and you do the same thing like how I did that house and put the house together. But you do that with this. You just blend it, blend it together. Just like as if you was building a gingerbread house. You blend it together. And just like that, you got a whole different looking uh, in-game blueprint. They got a pip shop stand on it as well as a staff building. And if you want to go further than that, you know, you want to add something else, you can add, you know, the, the little festive ATM machine on the side or anything. But, you know, I would, I would leave it like this. You know, I would leave it like that and maybe put some little, like, where the house at. It was a house. Or do some stuff like this to it, you know. Get the pretzels and little candies and stuff like that and the candy corns and things like that and decorate with a fence. You know, something like that on the side or things like that, man. But, yeah, this is how I come up with, like, creative designs or how I lay out things to make it my own custom look. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I know um, I'm not the best builder on here, but when it comes to pimping out blueprints, man, I think I'm the GOAT. You know, I ain't going to lie to you. I feel like I'm the GOAT when it comes to pimping out blueprints because uh, I know I like to make nice, nice, nice builds and... It'd be hard to make nice bills when um, you're not that savvy at, ooh, excuse me, at building stuff. So I had to find a way that I could be savvy and build stuff and make it my own custom custom build. You know, you know, even if it was me modifying it and changing things and turning it to something else, then so be it. That's what I had to do. You know, you know but uh. I started off with these three uh, shells here when I started building and 
for my winter wonderland and i came up with a cool design for this that i also put on my workshop let's go check that out right quick guys now here we are man we in the frozen tundra in my winter wonderland and this is one of my creations i came up with out of that workshop park over there with those uh gingerbread layouts now see now these were all those empty shells and i put these shops in here myself and put the ones that i wanted in here myself and yeah and lined it up the way i wanted to do it you know what uh i probably should have put well oh that's cool because now i got the m ms on this side and then the plain roof on this side so that worked out that worked out um but yeah this is what i did man this is what i came up with and this is how i decorate stuff this one right here also was a plain one but i ended up adding the extra suckers and the candies on it but yeah this is how i design man and this is how i decorate man this is how i design and decorate on planet coaster for all the amateurs out there so don't feel bad if you don't think you know how to build or you say you can't build and why do i got all these people right here Oh, okay, they just got off the ride. I'm like, hold up, man. I don't. I hope I ain't got no path issues up in here. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, this is my frozen tundra. This park is done, man. But, you know, I can't show you all that yet, man. You know, we're going to go back to the workshop park, guys. All right, so now we back. Now, see, now that blueprint that you guys just saw over there and went to Wonderland in my Christmas world over there was these three facades right here. Well, I see it was five of these. I used five. I used five of these to make that facade in that part. But yeah, basically that's how you can build on here. To me, you know, you can do that with not just these gingerbread um, blueprints. You can also do them with the the regular in-game blueprints. Like I did this. That's how I did. Came up with this. That's how I came up with this and this. You know what I mean? So it, it's a uh, and this too. Actually, this was a. Um, a regular fountain that I use extra pieces on the outside. Uh oh. Like I just use extra pieces on the outside. You know what I'm saying? But I think they got one like this, but I use a different arches on it. But yeah, that's all that is. But yeah, that's how I come up with my designs on Planet Coaster, man. So. I just thought I would make a video, uh, you know, how I create stuff. You know, I see a lot of other channels, they make videos of how they design stuff, but, you know, they build from scratch, and that's cool. You know what I'm saying? So I decided to make a video of building for amateurs. You know what I'm saying? People who not that savvy in, at building, but want to build something nice and create their own thing, and I want to always download off the workshop. So you can go to the workshop, use the in-game pieces they have, and build you something creative of your own and yeah and just like i did with these two items here you know blending blueprints together you can make your own custom things you can change them around put your own signs or whatever you want to do to them to make it your own custom design and then put it on your workshop as as your custom build you know so hey if you found this video helpful in any way and you thought this was a, a cool concept of how to build on planet coaster you know don't forget to leave me a like on the video um, subscribe to the channel if, if you haven't subscribed already you know we're trying to get the 200 subs over here at the channel but it's moving mad slow and to the point where you know it's at stalemate you know but i'm gonna keep on pumping my videos out keep making my content man and keep doing what i was doing on here Yeah, and that little concept I got over there, it's going to be a candy store I'm working on. You know, but I don't know where I want to go with it at the moment, so I left it over here in the cut like a lost stepchild. Yeah, so until next time, guys, like I said, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Planet Coaster videos and park spotlights and tours and things of that nature. That I got coming up on the channel. And if you're not subscribed, go and hit that subscribe and that notification bell because I got two videos coming out updating on my Frozen Tundra uh, Park where you can see my 
my Christmas world, guys, how I use some of the designs and things that I was trying to show you how I do stuff in here and how I use the in-game blueprints over here and some of these facades right here to build things in Winter Wonderland in my Christmas world and the Frozen Tundra. Yep. So until next time, guys, until my next Planet Coaster video, I'll catch you guys in the next one.